NFTs. Sometimes I go to myself, you know, I don't understand what NFTs are. And then I go look it up and discover that, yes, actually I do know what NFTs are. It's just that every time I read about them again, I'm left going, this can't be it. There has to be something else to make this make sense. And the answer is always no. It's a real life plot hole. NFTs are probably like the point where humanity starts regressing back into apes because we've gone too far and we've reached some kind of genetic loop where like we're recessing because nothing about this makes sense. Not a single thing about this makes sense. And there will be at least one person in the comment with a crappy pick crew like monkey icon defending it. But no, it doesn't make any sense. If you think it makes sense, you are turning real money into monopoly money that only holds any sort of value on one specific market. It's not worth it. Hello everybody and welcome to Calbis. My name is Lumar and today we're looking at r slash Tumblr, a subreddit dedicated to posts that escaped from that horrible little quarantine zone that I left long ago, but is still apparently really active. Let's just get right into it. Kids, are you choosing your college schedule? You'll hear a voice saying, just take the 8 a.m. class. It won't be that bad. You've done it for this long. That's the devil talking. I, uh, I actually took the 8 a.m. classes. So here's the thing. I actually was very strategic in where I lived in college because I would take the 8 a.m. class if it was in the building directly next to my dorm. Like, for example, I had a really early art class, which I enjoyed. I loved doing my art because that's like my main thing. So I would wake up at like seven, roll out of bed, reheat like a little breakfast sausage and walk across the street. I could do the 8 a.m. because my spin up time was literally however long it took me to get coffee from the barista downstairs. It was fantastic. It's not for everyone, but I enjoyed it. She was absolutely hysterical. The teenager at my job is so funny. She jokingly asked how my break was after I came back from the bathroom and after I said, can a girl change their pad and peach? She said, a real nine to five or would get a hysterectomy. There was no hesitation, no gap between what I said and what she said. Gen Z are nihilists on another level. Yeah, someone who was making Gen Z went, hey, you know Sans, that Sans guy? Entire generation like that. That's it. That's the post. Congratulations, Gen Z. I have linked all of you to Undertale. This is profiling. I'm sorry, it is generational. I can't help it. You are all sans. You are generation sans. Thank you. I love that every Pokemon is someone's favorite Pokemon. It doesn't matter how much you dislike a Pokemon or how forgettable you think a design is out there. There's someone who thinks it's their baby. My coworker, who only discovered Pokemon through Pokemon Go, absolutely loves Tangalia and has a small army of fully powered up ones. In an expo once, I saw a woman at a booth desperately trying to find an Onyx plushie because it was her daughter's absolute favorite. I talked with someone recently who announced Sudorudo was their tippy top favorite, and every single one is loved by someone, and I don't know, I think that's god dang heartwarming. Somebody please tell Game Freak they keep excluding them for arbitrary reasons that don't make a lot of sense. I did an entire, like, I did an entire write-up on how Nintendo could add all of them. It's gone. The company I wrote it for went under, unfortunately. But, like, I had an entire thing of, like, yeah, reasonably speaking, if they're using upgraded models, they couldn't have every Pokemon, but if it's just the 3DS models on Sword and Shield, then they can. They used the 3DS models on Sword and Shield, which meant mathematically they could. That's the post. Moving on. I love this! It's basically just saying his ideas were so crazy and awful that it motivated people to try and find any other explanation just to prove him wrong. So much research was done on the basis of, I freaking hate Fjord. What a mood. Fjord is sometimes referred to as the father of psychology. Whilst not everyone may like or agree with his ideas, the process of trying to find better ideas than some of his has triggered a huge amount of research within psychology. As it should be. The top comment! Sounds like psychology wants to kill its father. I wonder what that could mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, God. Mom! You don't shave your legs or your armpits? Me? No. Mom. Are you serious? Personal hygiene? Me. Yeah? Personal hygiene? Then make my brother shave too. The fact that this is getting notes is so beautiful, man. I don't know, man. When I did that, this backfired me. My brother and my dad. We all have to shave our legs and armpits now because personal hygiene. Look, I'm gonna be completely real with you. I, I too shave my pits. Why? 
because the audience complained too much on a live stream and it dominated chat, and I was so annoyed that I developed an entirely new habit of shaving my pits so I wouldn't have to hear people complain about it. On the upside, I'm silky smooth. I'm playing a relatively new game, and it's still a little buggy, so whenever there's a glitch or something, the devs want you to email them about it. So my game crashed and deleted my save file, and when I sent the devs an email about it, I got this back. Well, that's terrifying. Yeah, data loss bugs are... awful. They're just awful. Uh, <laughs> I've thankfully not had to see one in my career, but just something about it just scares the absolute heck out of me, because I always question, how did this happen? How did we get here? And the answer, like most things in game dev, is, I don't know, God help. Here's the best account on Twitter. It's run by an electric eel at an aquarium in Tennessee whose tank is wired to a computer that tweets something like zap pow every time he discharges electricity. Good. That is just... It amazes me that there are creatures in this world that can generate electricity just using like an organelle in their body. That's... That's insane to me. The fact that like we have creatures that go like, I want to do the zap bang pow and then they just do and that just works. And don't even get me started on cuttlefish. Those things aren't normal. Something's up there. I don't th I don't think they grew up here is what I'm saying. Stop! Church officials says gay sex within the Vatican has never been worse. Top. I hope they start having better sex. What a shame! I... <laughs> you know what? I don't need to say anything past the top comment. Why don't priests just wear chastity belts and hide the key in Rome? Like, no one has time to search around in Rome just so they can get the priest from behind, do they? Yeah. No. Correct. If you want to be a nun, male nun, male wife, there's your option. Watched a kid in line ahead of me at the store get rung up and the cashier said, Your total is 1841. And without missing a beat, the kid said, Ah, the year I was born. And the cashier stopped and was like, I'm sorry? <laughs> Literally 1841. Literally 1841. <laughs> oh god, I love, I love, I love being quick-witted and I love just people who are quick-witted. It is just so good. It's so stupid. Being able to just belt stuff out, just delicious. You're an, you're an art mortal? Does that mean you're naked? Yeah! Whoa, those lucky artists! Buddy. I don't know who started the idea that life drawing classes have anything sexy going on. Like, there's at least 10 people in the room and we're all tired and covered in charcoal. The dude in the front who's staring at my boobs has been trying to get the shading right for 10 minutes. He's almost out of paint. He is crying. Real talk. I've never done, like, I, I've never done a life painting course. I, I refused to. Specifically because I knew for a fact that I was going to look so out of place. This is a little bit of self-consciousness. I will look at anatomy books. There were times in my sculpting class where the professor came over and I had like 18 different tabs of breasts up. Because I needed the artistic reference. And he'd be like, oh, you know, you might want to not want to use that one. It doesn't fit in with the other. Like, we'd have a discussion about what reference was good. And I liked that. Because, like, I had the reference that I could use but I wasn't directly mimicking. Life painting is directly mimicking what is directly in front of you, so I'm gonna to have to be staring at somebody like that one meme of that one guy like, wake up, wake up. And here's the thing, a lot of you haven't seen me. I have a very intense stare when I'm concentrating, and I do not wanna be like locking eyes with the model as I'm sitting there desperately trying to paint, sweating bullets, and staring at them as if their soul itself is an affront to my existence. I can't handle that. <laughs> Got the music sells a redneck fantasy for people with no connection to what it describes. And I'm sure that you live like that hip hop song, with ice on your wrist and a clip at your side, you've got a partying lifestyle and sexual prowess that the pop singer is detailing. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. On today's episode of Discourse I Didn't Know Was a Thing. Look, you see, here's the thing. I would, you know, I, I can't even say anything. I normally listen to metal and frankly, if I had to live in the Warhammer universe like half of these songs describe, I would just be dead. I would just be dead. There would be skulls on trees, Slanash would be cursing the area, there would be rats everywhere, it would be the end times. I'm not about that. I don't want to live in the age of Sigmar either. Just don't. Just don't. Thank you. Why are bugs so obsessed with looking like plants? Be yourself! A bird wrote this. 
Honestly, I'm so sick of pancakes looking like the plate. Just be yourself. <laughs> and that's all the time we have here today on Galvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend who could use a reminder that Tumblr still exists. Like, much to everyone's shock, Tumblr still exists. If you do want more r slash Tumblr, there'll be no one popping up on your screen in just a couple of seconds, but until then, my name has been Lumo, and I'll see you on the very next Galvis video. Have a great rest of your day.